Hi, it's Sarah here from Napa and welcome back to Let Women Talk. So today I've got Janet Gare. So I've just actually found her at the Australasian HIV and STI conference and I saw her present presentation yesterday and I really enjoyed it. Um, and we had a bit of a chat this morning. So Janet is actually a researcher at the Papua New Guinea Institute of Medical Research. Um, thank you so much for agreeing to have a quick chat with me this afternoon. Thank you for well, letting you to come on board. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. So I guess I just wanted to ask, like I, through my work as a peer and a person living with HIV, um, I do know a few other women living with HIV from Papua New Guinea, um, and there are definitely some unique challenges that women face in PNG regarding regardless of HIV status. But um, I guess what is your like, what is stuff that you've seen or like that you like you notice within the HIV positive community there? That's a good question, and this is something that. Um um, I would say that uh, a lot of women in Papua New Guinea, most of them, they don't, uh, they don't have a voice. I would say, um, we we have some really good advocates, but um, what I'm referring to is um, a lot of women go, they suffer silently. Those once they find out that they've got HIV, uh, we have 90% uh, of our people living in uh, the rural areas, and uh, we 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 seeing a lot of uh, women who are infected with HIV who are living with. HIV are, are from the rural areas as well, and it it really affects their day-to-day -day activities. Um, they have uh, coming from a society where women get to do a lot of work. Uh, they mind the, the, the house, they mind the children, they go gardening. But so most of the time, their health is not priority, and um, uh, they do. Um, uh, it, it is always difficult for them to access uh, basic health services. And um, they also that's that's one of the things that I've noticed. And um, the other the other problem that I've seen is that um, them being stigmatized, being stigmatized of, uh, within the family. If uh, and it's, if some families, if they hear about the women being you know have the virus, they they kind of uh, they, they they don't wanna do they don't wanna they don't wanna do uh, anything with a the lady or the relative and of course he feels really bad about it and see so he goes silently and I would say that there are many women out there in PNG who are, who are not coming out and who are not sharing their pain, they're just sharing their cries with them. Yeah. And um, um, there are some where they're suffering, uh, suffering violence, um, uh, probably a, a few that have been reported but men, men can Men can, uh, when, when they find out their partner is positive, they might think and uh, blame that it's you who uh, brought in the virus yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, we have, um, I've seen a lot of women living with, positive, uh, living with the virus, uh, they suffer the law in my country. Mm. Yeah. We yeah. Have, yeah, at the same time, we have like strong uh, advocates there, but uh, they need help. They need help, um, not just women fighting for women, we need men fighting for women as well and their rights and making sure that. Um, uh, women are being cared by the husband or the family and um, yeah. Definitely, definitely. And you've touched on some points that I've heard about in PNG, um, especially about some of the people in rural areas about yeah. setting women on fire, um, mm -hmm. burning because they believe that it's witchcraft, um, and women being hunted by family for exactly. having HIV even mm -hmm. though generally they were, they were the one that acquired it from their partner. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, um, yeah, I think you've sort of touched on it in such a light way. I think the issues in PNG are so shocking. Mm. Um, and as Australia being like, we're neighbours, we're sisters. Yeah, and yeah. I feel I get really, really frustrated yeah. when, um, you know, PNG just falls off the radar. And exactly what you said, I think this is a call to action for people watching yeah. as well, that, you know, we should be doing more to be helping people in our region. And especially, like, you know, you're our nearest neighbour. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really, really powerful. Um, but you work as a researcher. I think we could talk about the, the problems in, for women and girls in PNG all day. Mm -hmm. But your work as a researcher as well is really amazing. And I would love to just know a little bit about what you do. You said you're a bit of a lab geek. <laughs> so um, basically, um, I think uh, coming from a research point of view and seeing what we see in the lab in terms of uh, uh, the what, what we test uh, coming from women, we have pretty high burden of uh, STIs, 
and uh, of course we know that it's uh, the women carry much of it mm -hmm. and of course as men but uh, most most of the STIs in men is uh, a safe meeting mm -hmm. and they think that it's the again the blame games go again it's the women that mm -hmm. is giving them and women are very they're conscious about their health mm -hmm. and they make time to go to uh, they make time to go to clinics to get treated but then you know when they come again they get reinfected yeah. so that thing is over and over and you know of course we know that um, uh, ectopic you know pregnancy uh, with uh, ectopic pregnancy can happen if uh, untreated STS that they are treated yes. and um, we also in our research we found out that um, uh, HIV also like is, is, is high among them and other STIs uh, that including um, HPV. HPV is something that is um, most of our women now, and I think PNG would be among the, the highest the, uh, in the Pacific again mm -hmm. in terms of cancer, cancer and HPV. So a lot of our women are uh, being um, in, in medical wards in the hospital where I come from. We have a lot of uh, women going in with uh, cervical cancer, you know, yeah. cervical cancer. So. Yes, we have a lot of high burden of STIs, uh, which uh, mostly go, uh, you know, undiagnosed or untreated, or they be treated but then be infected again. And um, that's such a frustrating mm -hmm. point. It's like I mean, I, you're doing the lab, you're mm -hmm. doing this work behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and you're seeing these numbers come in. But it's like, how can we reach these men? Like you were saying, we need men to be fighting for these right. women and getting in because like it must be like this revolving door. That's right. And then seeing women coming in with like so late with cervical cancer, that's yes. Yeah. So so I men, men, I, I, need, I see a need that men plays an important role in the overall health of a woman. Yes. And if um, if it come if, if it is HIV, then they play more important. I mean, it is more equally important that the, the man assist the woman, the man you know help the the, the partner to to make sure that her her health is uh, uh, you know. Uh, is okay with uh, the health is you know the, the woman stays on treatment the, uh, the woman is fine so the woman's healthy so she can take care of uh, their home their gardens and mm -hmm. their, uh, their family yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Men, men, men play an important role in like, especially png and i think they need to, it's time that they wake up it's time that they need to realize that yes we can do something for our women yeah, yeah. 100% because we all know you empower women, yeah. the rest of the community exactly. benefits. Yes, yes. And we're two empowered women and it was so beautiful to have a chat with you today, Jenna. Thank yes. you so much for your time. Bring it in. And thank you for your time too. Uh, for having me on board. Yeah. Amazing. You have an amazing conference and keep up the good work. And do, if anyone's out there from Papua New Guinea that are watching or anyone in Australia as well as from Papua New Guinea, there's an organisation called Igat Hope which supports yes. women living with HIV. Um, and also you can get in touch and find information about that on the NAPA website. Thank you so much, Janet. Amazing woman. Thank you so much for your time.